Crossing guard fortunate enough to survive being hit by a car returned to work today. Known as Miss Flo, she's back at work in the Berclair area after a two-month recuperation. Shelby County Schools wants to add flashing school zone signs reminding drivers to slow down in that area so this doesn't happen to anybody else. Local 24 News reporter Caitlin McCarthy spoke exclusively to Miss Flo who says she hopes those signs go up soon. Miss Flo was hit by a car in the crosswalk after a driver failed to slow down in a school zone. But she says she loves her job and the kids she protects. So she couldn't wait to come back. Well, here I am. <laughs> Good to see you. It's not a job, it's a joy for me. Flora Wallace or Miss Flo is back at Gramwood Elementary. Come on, baby. She was gone for two months recovering after she was hit by a car in the crosswalk. Yeah, I was kind of eerie when I got up here this morning, but then I said my prayers up here and I stepped right on out. She takes her job protecting people seriously. <laughs> no matter the cost, even if that means standing in harm's way. They need to be protected and that's our job. The students and parents wrap their arms around Miss Flo to show her just how much she's appreciated and to welcome her back. I'm glad to be back. She says during her recovery, she followed all of the doctor's orders, so she didn't miss too much time away. Turn your signal light on. How you doing? The parents say they feel safe with her there I'm because ready. of how serious she takes her job. Before she actually came back, she came back. We didn't even know it was her. She had a, a sweat uniform on, and she was walking up and down just to see how she does with the traffic and the kids. Her dedication to the students and families of Gremlin Elementary is why she is so appreciated. It's the first day, so I'm kind of stiff. But I'll be good. But it's her determination to protect is why she's so loved. You know, we love all of our crossing guards, but she really is special to this school. In Berkeley, Caitlin McCarthy, Local 24 News.